Right, random person in the background, don't know who it is, but it sounds like a voice in my head. Yeah. Just breathe ever so slightly. But anyways, um I shall begin this tournament report by stating one very obvious thing that I kind of overlooked. Computers are a thing that you must never ever trust completely. Because they can screw you over. Um I did my absolute greatest. I could not possibly have done any better at this local tournament. And unfortunately, somebody issued the wrong result. So officially, my tournament went down as a four and one record and I got and I got fifth. I did not go four and one. I went five nil. Yeah. Five nil. And what astounded me the most is I actually two nilled every single opponent I played. So, if I wasn't so, like, focused on getting the absolute max ranking that I possibly could, I'd probably be a bit pissed off. But, in all honesty, I went unbeaten. I'm happy with that. Um, I was probably going to get maybe one booster pack. Instead, I got four. I got an astral pack, which... I'm just going to open as I do explanations and stuff like that. But basically, round one, I played against a random samurai deck. Completely uninteresting. It was a 2-0, like I said. Round two, I played fairies, and I just pulled a common light and darkness dragon. It's avarice and super trap stun. That's kind of interesting. But, yeah, against stuff. Uh, agents, not a full strength agent deck by any means. The reason being... They didn't have gachis, and this was evident in the fact that he overextended like a bitch, went first turn Venus into three shine balls, making him a mutant, and of course I top dark hole. Now why wouldn't I? So I basically did that, and I continued to fear for the um, my greatest fear in all honesty at that point was what do you call it, Herald of Orange Light, and even when I did see that screw me over. It didn't actually screw me over. I just... Because, yeah, I 2 nilled it. Round 3, I played against... Who do you call it? Who did I play round 3? I played Black Wings. Um, he got Armor Master out first turn. And then most players would just be like... You know, shit, can I please have Dark Hole? It's just like, I didn't even need to have Dark Hole. Super Poly is a card. So, I kind of did that. Super Poly is... Just incredibly amazing. Another guy there was running Hero Beat, but he never actually main the Super Polys. And basically, me and this other bloke was just like, dude, you got to main the Super Polys. They're absolute staple. And that's basically just something that I can say to everybody who's going to build a Bubble Beat deck is that, uh, that the Super Poly has to be mained. At, at least two, in all honesty. But anyways, 2 no, two owed the Black Wings. Um, they did get um, Armed Wing out a couple of times. Um, it was easily taken care of. I think one point I compulsed it. Another point I dropped the TT. Um, that's about it. I did. He did try to store me out of cards in game two. I was left with nine in the deck. He was using uh, swords, and then before I could finish off, he bounced it back for Zephyros, which was a bit annoying, but it wasn't that bad. Round four, I didn't even have to move because I was sitting at the same exact same table. I played up against just a regular fairy deck. They had Valhalla pretty early and then just dropped Athena and shit and was... It would have been a bit screwy, but I still had plays for days, being a sacky player that I am with the heroes. So, yeah, two-owed, like all the others. Then round five, I found it kind of weird that I was being drawn up against battling boxes because I know, like, the tournament winner was the... Pro was, like, the guy who won the tournament was using Prophecy, and he went 5-0 as well. So I kind of thought, you know, him and me being 4-0, we might have been drawn up against each other. I got drawn up against Battling Boxes, who went three and who were 3-1 and one bef before this round. And basically, I just... He busted out Lead Yoke, I think, twice. Actually, no, he only busted out Lead Yoke once, and I compulsed it as soon as he hit the board, because Lead Yoke is a, yeah, Lead Yoke is a pretty busted card. And... So, basically, just kind of did that. And, so, yeah, did that. 
he had nothing else. He had nothing game one. He didn't have much game two, so I just pretty much swung over. It took a little bit of a while game two because I was just beating him over and over. I didn't see any of my heroes in game two. Kind of reminded me of the one game way. Beat him up down in two turns using a Thunder King and a Photon Papal Operative beating over his Marshmallow. So, yeah. 2 0 all five of my rounds. Should have been first. Officially, it was fifth. Um, although, in my opinion, it was a, would be a tie for first because, yeah, that's basically... I'm just going to write it down in the description. Official fifth thing first. And i got some battle packs. I'll just open them up here. I'm too lazy to point the camera down to the thing, so I shall just show these off as they are. we got Fortress Warrior, Toon Gemini Elf, Trakroid. Okay, so this is the Mosaic Rare, and it's Reverse Trap. It's kind of funky. Ugh, Ryoku. Really? <laughs> Ryoku is a card, apparently. That would be good against monsters with like a shitload of attack. And you just... But yeah, Sinister Seeds, that's a weird one. Bazoo the Soul Eater. Splendid Venus. Frostosaurus. Ooh, I've got a Forbidden Chalice. Chalice is nice. Chalice is a card. Apparently the person in the background just wishes not to say anything. Oh, no, that's not a problem. That's no problem. I don't need to con I don't need to concentrate when I'm filming. It's just you can just kind of just sit back and be like, "Oh my god, okay." Uh, Hamstrat. I pulled a Kaiku. Zerato, Mahavelo, the um, thingy, the mosaic rare. Mosaics look really freaking funky. It it, it kind of looks like I know what it looks like, but I can't really describe it. And pride for all. I I describe look at it as an eight bit version of a dual terminal. <laughs> Yeah, that, that that actually doesn't sound like a bad idea. Oh lord, but yeah, that's that's the video. Um, you know, what can you do? Like my guest in the background says, it is what it is. Especially when it comes down to Cosy, you know, clarification and all that. That system is just too much at times. Literally, you put in one result and it just goes, blows up the planet. It all goes wrong. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Oh well, shit happens. Ranking's not that much of an issue for me. I went unbeaten. I 2 0 everyone. And this is the end of my 248th video. The next one's going to be me cracking open a couple of uh, Super Starter decks. And then 250. Guess what? I just put in a bit of a taste for it. It's one of these. It's a booster box of that shit. So, uh, yeah. Oh, goddammit, I need to bloody recharge this thing. Alright, whatever.